So Megan, my third question for you is, we know that there's a lot of layoffs these days. A lot of people are applying for a job, trying to get, whenever you post one requisition, you get hundreds or maybe more. So how can job seekers differentiate in themselves from this old, a lot of people? And during the interview, how can they kind of sell themselves so that, you know, you pick them? <laughs> so what tips do you have? Oh my gosh, Mayor, that's so, I mean, that's so relevant. I, I get a lot of resumes and we don't even, I don't think we have an active job posting right now. And I probably get five or six a day of people just sending me their resumes. Um, the ones that stick out to me um, typically have a cover letter. And I know that might sound a little old fashioned, but it, and it's, it's a personalized and thoughtful and you can tell well researched, you know, they spent time on the website or, or listening to podcasts like this, or, you know, seeing our message and our thought leadership, and they really feel connected to the culture. So if you're really interested in a company, don't just, you know, copy and paste and send what you send to everybody else. If you really are interested in it, take the time to get to know the company, go on the website, watch the videos, listen to the podcast, read the LinkedIn feed, really get a feel for the company, and then be very specific in your cover letter on what speaks to you, how you relate, what you're interested in. That's what's gotten me to reach out to people to follow up with them. And also on the resume, same thing that like kind of executive summary at the top, make it really personal, personalize it for the company. Again, the copy and paste, you can tell, I can tell when I'm looking at hundreds of these a week, I can tell when you just, you know, are sending the same one all over and I get it. It's, it's a job. Searching for a job is a job. Oh, yeah. um, but if you really are very passionate about a company, you really want to make an impact and stick out, um, personalize it as much, as much as possible. Um, I know the bots will go through and they'll, you know, pick things out, but I imagine a personalized cover letter will get you further. And then, you know, if you look on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. see who's connected to people at that company that you know, um, and it's always good to have a personal recommendation behind that. And I read somewhere that usually for recruiter, it takes them six seconds to reach a resume. And I always tell people like, be accurate, you know, or relevant, uh, uh, adjust to the job, uh, job descriptions, maybe use some of the words and put numbers that, and how can you add value to the company? That's absolutely right. And so, and also you mentioned that send a message maybe on LinkedIn, you can maybe send to the recruiter or the hiring manager if it's mentioned, reach out to them, hey, I applied, I'm interested to, you know, that adds, you know, personalized. Don't be shy. You know, I think people are really hesitant to do that. And I'd say what, I mean, the worst that could happen is they don't read it or they say no yeah. or go away, <laughs> you yeah. know, but, but I mean, the, if you, again, if you're thoughtful and you talk about how you can add value and you've done your homework, um, there's no harm in doing that. Yeah, those are great tips, Megan. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of job seekers differentiating themselves or resume writing tips, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with Megan.